Now I judge a tomato based on overall plant health, uh, whether or not it'll take the heat, because we have uh, extremely hot summers. It's not unusual to have uh, a week or two where it's close to 100, if not over, every day. And uh, then I also look at whether it, it has issues, uh, overall plant growth, uh, size of the fruit, and of course taste. And uh, first of all, let's cut into it and see what it tastes like. Okay, it looks like a really meaty tomato. I like that. Now I'll cut a hunk off and just take taste a taste of it. It's got really good taste. I like it. Excuse me, but I'll take another bite. It's got a <clears throat> sweet taste to it. And this is the type of tomato that I could just put a little salt on and eat the whole thing. And that's probably what I'll do when I'm done here. But <laughs> but as far as the overall plant health, uh, I'd, I'd rate this uh, tomato in our garden, which is a zone 6, as uh, an A. It does pretty well. Uh, but it does have uh, issues. Uh, for me, it did anyway. This is the first time I've grown it. And it's the only tomato we had that had a little blossom end rot. And it also has a tendency to crack easier than some of the others I grew this year. So those two issues are kind of a negative for me. Um, does it take the heat? It, I'd give it a, probably a B. It's stressing a little bit in our heat. Um, Plant growth, it grows well. It grew out of the top of our five-foot cage. Size of the fruit, I'd call it uh, probably on the large size, and they seem to be consistently about the same size. Taste, as I just told you, it tastes really good. And as far as uh, setting on fruit, uh, Early, it was probably a little bit slow to set on compared to some others, but it came on late and did really well, and we got plenty of tomatoes on it. So, uh, will I grow it again? I'd say maybe, uh, just because of the splitting and blossom end rot issues, but uh, it's a good tomato. I like it.